Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello. Today we're going to look at the print string node in Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to go ahead and hit play to play an editor, and in the top left we see this is the print string node printing to the logs. In addition, if we go into the output log, we can see the message this is the print string node printing to the logs. This is my example setup. We can see the print string node here with the input string of this is the print string node printing to the logs. The print string node is a development node that allows us to put a string onto our screen or into our logs, usually for debugging purposes or informational purposes. Let's take a look at how it works and the settings available to us. By default, all you have is a string that you can put into the print string node, and that's what's going to print out to your viewport as well as your log. But we do have an advanced set of options if we open it up to give us more settings. By default, it's going to print to the screen and to the log. If you don't want to see either one of them, you can simply uncheck them. For example, if I hook this up and we uncheck print to screen and print to log, we now will no longer see anything in the top left for printing to the viewport and our log will have nothing inside of it. This is useful if you want to separate things maybe just for logging purposes into the log. The next thing will be our text color. Let me turn back on print to string. Let's make our string something a little bit better. And let's change our color. Let's make our color more of a red. We'll test this again. And you now see this is our test string and then it disappears really quickly. The next setting is the duration. How long in seconds is this going to be on our screen? By default, it's 2. We can, of course, make this longer, let's say 5. And if we test this, you'll notice it's going to stay on our screen for 5 seconds. Now, if you don't want this to stay on for very long, let's say, for example, you're testing something every frame, we'll hook this up to our tick, and we'll go ahead and run this. You'll notice we're now spamming our viewport and our log with this is our test string. And this can get a little bit crazy. If we wanted to, if we set the duration to 0, that's going to mean one frame. So now when we test this, we can see it says this is our test string in the top left. Now it's not just printing it once. Every frame it's printing it, erasing it, printing it again, and erasing it. So therefore it looks like it's only on our screen once. If we were to hook up more than one print string, for example, and let's run this sample, you can see it looks like we have two of them stuck up in the top left corner. So this is useful if you want to print something maybe on the tick, However, you don't want it spamming the screen. There's another way of doing this. We have our key. By default, set to none, which means it's not going to use our key. If we set a unique key, let's say, for example, key 1 and key 2, and let's set our duration back to something high, like, say, 10 seconds, and we'll test the sample, you'll notice we get the same result as if we were printing every frame. How this works is every time our print string node is ran, if there is an existing key, it will overwrite that the next time it needs to write it. So we are running every tick, printing this is our test string, and replacing anything with the current key value of key 1, and doing the same thing with key 2. By using the key, you can uniquely identify print strings, so that way it will keep one piece of data on the screen at any point in time. Here we can see a quick little example where I'm outputting the player's location and rotation to the top left corner of my screen, maybe for debug purposes while I'm testing something out. And by using the print string node, changing the color to make it unique per property I want to see, and then setting a key, I can have a nice little debug screen up in the top left corner. If you'll notice, our print string node at the bottom has development only. What this means is these nodes are only for development purposes. In a development build, a debug build, or for example in our plain editor like we've seen, these nodes are going to be connected and run, and we're going to see the results. If this was a shipping build, these nodes will basically be stripped out and bypassed, and they will not be ran. So keep that in mind. If you're using these for testing purposes, and you're testing a shipping build, they're not going to show up.